for you to like you and throw them. Do you, do you want to use canned? No, don't plan it on me. I just grabbed the frozen out of there. Oh, that's what I've got my strawberries bring over. I'll go grab them later. Yeah. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Renee, and look who's here. Good morning. It's just going camping this weekend. So, remember yesterday in my chit chat, I told you that I had leftover, um, I made a whole load of it, like four pounds of hamburger gravy. So I got this big old dish left over, and I said, you know what, Th this won't last. I don't want to put it in the freezer. Right. So I said, we're going to make a shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. And then Tracy come over and said, oh, I'm going camping this weekend. And I said, hey, <laughs> you want a shepherd's pie for camping? <laughs> Heck yeah. She said, sure. She can heat it over the, you can heat this right over the fire pit. Yep. Be good. The knife will go on and yeah. put that up there and let it heat up. Yeah, absolutely. So we got potatoes. We're going to do, you don't mind, you guys like red potatoes, right? Because mm -hmm. I got Yukon Golds. Some are good too. Which, which would you rather have? I like the Yukon Gold. You want to peel them? You don't have to peel them. You don't got to peel them? Mm -mm. Not to make mashed? No. Really? Really? I've never done it. Oh. Yeah. So, so you want just like, I just like the red one. Really? Hang yeah. On. Now I've always peeled one. Oh, no. Now balance. Ah. Wash them in. All right. Well, we can do you kind of for you. We'll do the whole five pound thing up because what we don't use on your casserole will um Peter John. Yeah. <laughs> we're also gonna make we're also gonna make um a whole bunch of freezer um salmon patties and you guys you'll take those too some of those. Oh yeah. You guys will like that for camping. We got all kinds of stuff I could send you with camping. <laughs> yeah I wanted to cook now. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we'll wash these up. You can wash these up. I'll get the pan out. And we'll cook those up. Here's this. Now, this is frozen and this is cold. We probably don't need to heat this up, Tracy, because you're going to, it's going to go right back in the freezer anyway. Okay, right. Until, yeah. yeah. Okay, so friends, this is what you do with the leftover hamburger gravy. Oh, smell that. You know what? I ran out of milk yesterday. Well, actually, I didn't run out of milk. I grabbed the milk out of the fridge. I never drank milk. John's the only one that drinks it, and it was sour. And it's like, well, that isn't going to work for the hamburger gravy. I didn't have any heavy cream, so I'm compromised, and you use what you have on hand. And I used um, beef broth. Smell this, Tracy. Mm, yeah, that works. You didn't good. taste this last night, did you? No, I didn't. That's good stuff. So, and I also, friends, I've got all the um, utensils in my two drawers, so they're off my counter. I love that. I can't. I can't. I don't like a whole lot of stuff on my counter. We might wind up getting two casseroles out of this, Tracy. Probably. Maybe one big one, but you got a lot of people, don't you? Well, five or five or six are going. This will be a good size, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll make it in this one. That'll be a nice big one. That'll be good enough, and it'll all go in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna heat this up, but I am gonna put a little bit more milk. No, I'm not gonna put more milk. Just the way to forgot milk. We are going to put some cheese in this one for you. You want cheese in it? Yeah. Okay. And we're using mixed vegetables. And her crew, they like mixed vegetables, don't they? Yep. Yeah. All right, so. I don't need my big baby bill. This one ought to do it. So we're going to put... Oh, um, a couple cups of cheese in here. And you know, a handful of cheese, shredded cheese is a cup to roll around. So there we go. We got a couple cups of cheese in there. 
We could have made this into a tater tot casserole. But I think shepherd's is better. Shepherd's pie. Yeah, I like that. Cottage pie. Shepherd's pie is made with um, minced lamb. Cottage pie is made with burger. At least that's what I've always Okay, so we got the cheese in there. We got our hamburger gravy in there. Now we're going to, I'm probably going to use both bags of these. Let's see here, my scissors. I'm still learning which drawer they're in. <laughs> I can't stand all that stuff on the countertop. It just makes it look like cluttered. All right, I broke those up, though so they're frozen. I broke these up. We might have to add a little more liquid to this. It's kind of hard to tell because it's cold, you know. You will have a little bit with the frozen vegetables. Yeah, I probably, yeah, once it, yeah, once it starts cooking. I probably don't need to add anything to that, any liquid at all. Because it was a gravy consistency before it was cold. So, all right. I put both bags in here, Tracy. This is going to feed an army. We probably should, I never spray my pans when I put them in the freezer to go in the oven, but we probably should spray it since it's gonna go on the fire pit. Oh yeah. To heat, look at this. Doesn't that look nice? We could probably get two out of this, Tracy, you think? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. Ah, I'll go get another pan. Now remember, these pans are reusable, darling. Yeah. So you bring them back, because this one's already used, I washed it. That one's not been used at all. Well, we don't get burned up too bad. Well, if you do, don't worry about it. You got it? Yeah. We'll put it on this one over here. This is the good, fast cooking one. So, let's see, let's do this one. There we go. That's going to get hot. We've got to turn it down just a little bit. I don't put salt in it until it boils. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know why? Why? Because when you got stainless pans, if you put salt in that pan before it starts boiling, it will pit it. Oh, really? Yeah. So I always wait until it's boiling. All right. I got crumb in there. Okay, we got all kinds of this. Let's see here. We are going to. I'm not going to use that. I am going to use. How do you like those drawers? <laughs> yeah. Let me use this one. And we'll spread this around on these. Oh, we got to spray it. <laughs> how do you like that? forgot. I spray it over the sink too because I don't want to go sailing on that on the wood floor. Oh, no. <laughs> Me hurt. neither, yeah. <laughs> All right. Put that noise is off. Okay, try this again. I'm going to give you a. You can smash it down in there. I'll keep adding to it, but I'm going to do one at a time here. Oh, yeah, this will be good. We can get two out of here, can't we? Oh, yeah. That one in there and the rest in here. And we got two. Perfect.
Yeah, that's nice. That'll be good. I got, we don't need to season this unless you want extra, you know me, I put lots of pepper in it. Oh, yeah. I already seasoned the hamburger gravy. More so, pepper though, I would. You want more pepper? You're like me. Ah! Yep. All right, I'll put a little more pepper then I still in add, I still had more after I put it on my plate. Too. I know. <laughs> You're like, we love pepper. All right, that's good. That's a nice, good half teaspoon each. All right, so we'll set these aside. Beautiful. That, that turns out nice. Look at that, friends. And then fill that up with mashed potatoes. That'll feed an army. Mm -hmm. I'll have one for the freezer. I'll send one home for Susie for dinner. And then you take one. Oh, no, yours will have to stay in my freezer. You don't have room in yours, do you? Yeah, I think I do now. Oh. Well, we'll send yours home with you, and I'll send Susie's with her, and... We'll wrap yours for the freezer and I'll wrap hers for the oven because you know she'll make that for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so all we gotta do is wait for our potatoes to to cook and you know what? We can do our um, salmon patties. So we'll set these aside. We'll set those over there to wait for the potatoes. How's that? Yep. We'll get the stuff for the salmon patties. I'm gonna get Everything ready for the salmon patties, and then um, we're going to get the Big Daddy Bullock, because we're going to make a lot of those. Did you ever have it with uh, oatmeal? Like, well, maybe I have. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use, might need to use crackers. I'm going to use oatmeal, because you know, yeah, crackers. But if you make a, you know how you eat salmon fish and you get hungry? It's just mm -hmm. not real filling. Yeah. If you make the salmon patties with a little oatmeal in them, they're going to be filling. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to stick with you for a while. Mm hmm That's good. All right. We'll be right back, friends. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm going to drain those in another bowl. Let's see. I'm going to... Just open these up. The bones, all these gotta go to the recycle bin. No, all kinds of cans. The bones, how can I show you this? I'm gonna bring you up close. Okay, there's bones and skin in here. See the skin? If you peel that apart, nine times out of ten, you'll see the bones. I need to get a bowl for the skin. Some people leave the skin on, you certainly can, but I take it off. I removed the skin and the bones. And see, that doesn't have any bones in that section, so we're good, that's good. This has got a little skin on it. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna take this skin off. And there'll be a section of bone. See the skin? It just peels right off. Now if you peel this open, you'll see the bone right there. See that bone? That's coming out. And I just take and pull that right out. All right, and that's it. That's all you got to do to clean a can of salmon. And then I'll break it up as we mix it. Okay? Dream. 
start with your name One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart as pure No, not like yours That's gonna be one of them. And it don't smell fishy, fishy. This is the good stuff. We had, what kind was that? I'm not for sure what kind you said it was. It was awful, wasn't it? Yeah. We both love salmon. And we made salmon patties. Oh God, we got our mouth all ready for salmon patties. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and we took one bite of that and it was like rotten fish, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, we couldn't eat it. It's like, oh no, that ain't good. So we had to figure out what brand that was, and you know, we don't do nothing with that one. Okay, I just gotta wash my hands up. All right, we're gonna clean up this mess. Now that the hardest part's done. And then, Good. Okay. Now, we got all this salmon in this bowl, friends. Now we're going to be cracking eggs till the cows come home. We're going to need at least a dozen eggs in there, wouldn't you think? Probably, not more. <laughs> yep. Yes, I rinse this out. We'll stick the shells in there and we'll crack them in here. give my chickens oyster shells because their shells are a little weak. Did you notice that? Yeah, a little. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, Hopefully they're done. All that noise you hear outside. All that noise you hear outside is uh, from them cleaning out our water drains in our streets. They were all plugged up. You need to wipe your hands off? Okay, now we're also going to do, we'll do some onions in here. That really isn't a whole lot, you know? No, not really. We'll put them in there. Now you don't want all this. Smell the onions. Mm -hmm. How many you want these, a couple handfuls? Yeah. This is frozen. That's all right. Now you don't want too many, but just enough to, is that good? Mm -hmm. A little more? Oh, that's fine. Okay, can you close that up? Stick it right back down that freezer drawer, please. Your hands are dry, aren't they? You can put the spice in there. Here, I'll get a... You guys like garlic, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like parsley too? Yeah. We're gonna do a nice bunch of parsley. Let's put this over here. I'm gonna move this. Then you can also put, yeah, look at that. That'll be good. Oh, we gotta get the lemon juice out too. If I can find it, it's way in the back, of course. 
way in the back of my fridge. Sour cream in there? Nope. <laughs> That's easy. Did you do enough of this? Yeah, I think so. Did you get the pepper and salt and everything? Yep. Beautiful. Okay. I would think maybe about a quarter cup of lemon juice with all that. I don't think anymore. No, that should be enough. Yeah. That's like three tablespoons for all that. Or four tablespoons, excuse me. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Mm -hmm. We're winging it with this much. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Now we need oatmeal in there. Our potatoes are doing good. We got to check our potatoes there. Yeah, those. That doesn't uh, take long to cook either. No, they're getting there. But I turned it way down so that. It's going. I didn't want that at a screaming boil. Now we got the eggs. I think we got everything in there except our. I'm just going to pour that in there and guesstimate. We're good at that. We're old ladies. We know what we're doing. Ah! Okay. So you can see in there. We need to put them guys. I'll bring you over here as soon as I get this in here. I'm going to start with that much. Okay? Okay. Then we'll see if we need to add it, we'll add more to it. We were yakking away, and we lost our footage. <laughs> but you did see what every everything that we put in here, you just didn't see when I was mixing it up. i got to check these potatoes again. But it's recording now. So we were yakking away for you. So we'll tell you all over again. We are just patting these up and we're putting them right on a trace because they're gonna go in the freezer. We are gonna cook a couple of them for lunch so you can see how they taste or see how they turn out and we can take test taste them. Yeah. But Tracy was telling you what she's gonna be doing. Going camping by, by Drummond Island in the UP. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, we live in Michigan. Northern Lower Michigan is where we live. And what does the UP call us? The Trolls. Under the bridge. <laughs> the Trolls under the bridge. That's hilarious. We're getting a lot of patties out of these friends. These. And, oh, I did tell you, and I, I, it's... It, we lost the footage. We lost a nice chunk of footage. So when we made 12 cans, we did this recipe according to 12 cans. When I put this in the description box, so this recipe, I'll make it for one can. And then you guys can, you know, quadruple it or make 12 cans. It don't matter. Make one can, make it just for supper, but it does freeze beautifully. These will last in your freezer up to about three, four months. So they'll be nice in there. You can cook these before you freeze them. I don't like to do that because when you reheat them, you'll lose that crispiness on the outside, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's, that's always good. So I just freeze mine raw and then I just put them in the, that hot oil, even from frozen, I don't care. It's, they turn out beautiful. Yep. Tracy took a job cooking at the local bar. <laughs> you cooked at a bar for a long time, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, she can make good food. She was cooking chicken the other night, weren't you? Oh, yeah, lots, lots of it. <laughs> lots of it. Now you're going to come over when I'm making chicken and you're going to run. <laughs> uh, she probably did more chicken than I did. I usually do 40 pounds at a time. They had a special up there on there. Bro broasted yeah. chicken? Was that what it was? Yep, broasted chicken. Man, I love broasted chicken. 
All right, you know what? I don't want to stack these any more than too high, so we'll get another tray. I'm going to set this on my kitchen table for just a second. Because I'll wrap it in plastic. And then I got to wash my hands. And then I'll put it in the freezer. And then after it's froze, then you can come over and get what you want. Your daughter will use some too. And then there's a, a couple families I'm going to give some to um, that I know would would use them. I don't think we need more than one tray, do we? I don't think so. Now you can roll these in breadcrumbs before you fry them too. Yeah. That's what we'll do. I got a little bit of breadcrumbs. Actually, that's too big. Ooh. I made that daddy big. Perfect. How many of these did we get? We got two, four, six, we got 12, we got two dozen. And a half here, so far. Yeah, two and a half dozen patties out of this. That's nice. We got too much in here. We're gonna make another patty out of that one. You can make salmon loaf out of these, same recipe. And uh, it will cook up beautifully, freeze up beautifully. All right. This is probably one good size one. You can take some of these and put it on the other ones that are a little small. Here's a little bit more. These sa this salmon brand is nice. This smells good. You know what? Okay, so... We'll take these two, give me that, and we'll cook these two. I'm going to set them right over here for right now. I'm wash my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap these up for the freezer. We might as well fill this one. Just single wrap it just so it flash freezes you know yeah but i don't want it to fall <coughs> out. i just want to wrap the whole pan it works fine i got lots of room in the upright freezer so you don't have to stack it because it'll we can sneak it in between the shelves okay You can do the same recipe with tuna fish too. And have tuna patties and those are just as good. Oh my gosh. You ever have tuna patties like this? No. You no. Really? Well, so you might. Are, 
Oh, we've had some out of sucker. Oh, yeah, sucker's good too. Okay, we'll be right back when we get this, and we're going to get the shepherd pies put together because the potatoes are done. All right, friends, let me turn my burner on here. I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. Now, what I got here is my homemade shake and bake mix. You can't see my head. I'm so sorry. I'm cut off. But I want you to see what's going on here. All I do, I want that pan to get hot first. And then all I do is just move these around in this shake and bake. You know, all the way on the sides, the whole shebang. Okay. And then I'll put them, oh, that broke. Let's fix this. This stuff is wonderful. All along the edges. I'm going to see if that's hot enough. And that's hot enough. And that one busted. So I hope it stays together. Alright. I'm going to put those in just like that. I'm going to put a little bit more on the top of this one. I'm going to put a little bit on the top of this one. Hoping... Okay, there we go. Okay, so these are just going to cook. I got them down on low because I don't want to burn. I'm going to put them a little lower anyway. And then they'll brown nicely. And we'll have to be very careful when we flip the one because I broke it. Oh. So in the meantime, while these are cooking, we're going to head over here to my island. And we're going to put our... Um, Gifford pie. Yeah. That's it. We're going to put our shepherd's pie together. Okay, here's one for you. Here's one for you to fill, and I'll fill this one. All right. These are the Yukon. These are beautiful potatoes. Oh, Susie's family's going to love this, too. We'll use every bit of this, you know what? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, gotta keep a close eye on those. They're cooking away, they're doing good. They gotta go down a little bit lower yet. I'm gonna flip these over. Very careful. Beautiful. I'm putting a little more oil in the pan. Oh, did you need some? You're stealing from me, are you? Yeah, just a little bit for the corner here. Okay, these are beautiful. Absolutely. Now these have to cool completely on the top here. Oh yeah, they'll like this. Okay. I don't know if you like it, but uh, my family likes a little bit of paprika on the potatoes on the top. Yeah. Just a little bit sprinkled. You like a little on yours? Yeah. bit of parsley. You like that too? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There. Is that good? Yep. And we'll put a little parsley on these. Beautiful. 
and look at our shepherd pies. Those turned out beautiful, friends. So we're gonna leave these sitting up here. We'll put this away. We're just gonna leave these sit up here to cool, Tracy. Okay. And when they're all completely cool, then we'll wrap them and put yours in the freezer and I'll put, well, I'll put this one in the fridge for Susie. Uh, I might just put it in the freezer. <laughs> Just, you know, yeah. keep it cool. I don't think I got enough room in my fridge. No, I can make room in my fridge. I'll put yours in the freezer and hers in the fridge because yours is going for this weekend. Yeah. Now, when are you leaving? Early Friday morning. Okay, well, if you take it out when plant, if you plant like have it Friday night, easy, quick meal. Probably. Uh, if you take it out Friday morning and you drive up there, it'll thaw out then. Yeah. And so you don't have to worry about it. Beautiful. All right, let's get back to cooking our goodies over here. These are gonna turn out nice. They need to cook a look at that one broken half. That's all right. Leave those cooked. They're cooking on low, so they're just gonna cook in here for a little bit. And uh, we'll let you know how they, we'll show, look at they cut my head off. And they're short. <laughs> I thought I was short. <laughs> no. You're, how tall are you? Probably 4'11 now. Oh. Uh, four ten. <laughs> I keep shrieking every time I go. I just I say, I'm 5'. <laughs> you have to tell me no different. <laughs> right? I'm 5'2. I'm now I'm 10 minutes there right. ahead of you. All right, these are going to cook. And when these are done, we'll, we'll taste them for the camera for you guys. And we'll. We'll tell you just how they turn out. These are cool. Our uh, salmon patties are done. There you go. And we'll them in plastic. That one's yours, isn't it? I don't know, I guess it don't really matter. It don't matter, they're both identical. Yeah. Okay, there's one. I'll wrap this one up. Oh, you know what? I gotta put a sticky label on it. We forgot to label them. You will know what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her to bake this at 350 um, until heated through. You want to mark yours? Maybe. Let's see if we can't take. I don't know what it is. Okay. Well, here's it. And you know how to heat it. Yeah. All right. I better wrap hers twice, too. Just in case she doesn't have it tonight. Then it'll be all wrapped for her. Try our salmon things. How do you like our fine china? 
Oh, yeah, I love you. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get you a fork. I want to show this. Look at how beautiful these turned out, friends. Crispy and gorgeous. Absolutely. Well, if you don't start thrashing around, I'll try mine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Good. Aren't they, 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 is the fishy taste gone? Mm -hmm. You know, remember that one? Yeah. It's not like that, is no. it? No. We couldn't eat that other. Oh, that was such a horrible brand. I can't even remember the brand. Can you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, we took a bite of that and was like, yeah, well, let's go into the chickens. Mmm. Those are good and moist. Mm -hmm. Delicious. We will put. I got a little sour cream with mine. No. Ha! Tracy, she hates. Tell them what all you hate. Everything. No condiments whatsoever. No mm -hmm. ketchup, no salad dressing, nothing. Unless. It's cooked into a casserole that you can't taste it. <laughs> right. <laughs> the only way I can get it in there, I gotta sneak it in there. I don't say nothing to her. And she'll tell me this is delicious. That's because you can't taste the sour cream in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we're gonna we're gonna go enjoy our lunch. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with us. And Tracy was here with us the whole time. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Um you seen how we made shepherd's pie with leftover hamburger gravy. You could also do tater tot casserole with it. That would turn out nice, too. Mm -hmm. You know, just instead of topping it with the potatoes, you top it with the tater tots. Yeah. Put a little added extra layer of cheese, and you can do that, too, on top of your potatoes oh, if you yeah. want. Put a little bit of cheese on them. And then, we, you seen us, we showed you how we did all the um, salmon patties. And that's, that was a good way because you guys have me stocked up with salmon and nobody wants it. Oh, really? Not too many people want it unless you do this and make it. And then then they'll take it and put it in their freezer. <laughs> I can do that. I, it's not like I don't have enough eggs, you know? Yeah. So we're going to go enjoy our lunch. Thank you for watching, friends. You all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>